What your workplace will look like in a post-COVID-19 world. Touchless technology and working pods in physical spaces will transform our future offices. Coronavirus has plunged many global businesses into a paralysis. Most of the labor-intensive businesses such as architecture and interior design firms, manufacturers, aviation operators, and travel agencies are hit the hardest. Experts are suggesting a resilient approach to ensure longevity and surviving the crisis. This is not the time to use the situation and health hazard as an opportunity. It is for community building and giving back in any way possible, to ensure, when this all is over, people invest in your brand. Technology has been the biggest salvage in the given situation. Speaking from personal experience, while the design part of the business can be easily moved online using cloud tools such as Autodesk BIM 360, Graphisoft, BI McCloud, the execution and realization of the designs in the physical world has come to a standstill for the greater good. Parallel with mass quarantines and complete lockdowns, the epidemic has reignited and amplified the debate over the future of work. Are we seeing the beginning of the end of the traditional office typology? The short answer, no. The virus definitely won't kill the concept of working in standard office buildings. However, the new normal will have businesses come back with an open mind of alternative spaces for working. This definitely isn't the first time in history that structures and buildings will be reimagined or redesigned in response to an increased understanding of the disease. Right now we are forced to staggering work schedule or working apart, but if virtual working is successful, and we're in fact more productive, it will fundamentally change the value proposition of shared workspace. The time and situation will speed innovation in the design industry, and we will see the advent of deep work pods. The concept will be a balance of isolated concentration and productive and meaningful collaboration. This, together with empathetic policies businesses will see designers advocate the use of antibacterial fabrics and finishes, carbon-neutral flooring and energy-efficient collaborative space for a more holistic form of employee engagement that looks beyond the hours of work and commensurate bonuses. In addition to all types of touch-less technology, automatic doors, hands-free light switches, voice-activated elevators, and temperature controls, the future workspace will be immersive and put employee well-being and engagement in the forefront. It sure is a rough start to the new decade, but difficult situations are also opportunities for businesses to go back to basics they may have let slip. So let's concenter on our core missions, build products and spaces which will be needed and loved, be tenacious, practice good business sense, and most importantly act with empathy towards customers, employees, and community alike. And beyond the precautionary quarantine, social distancing and pandemic, well, we still have a lot of work to do.